Mr Arnott, please. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr Takula, you do indeed have an impressive CV. Uh, my question, I suppose, is whether that CV is the right one for this job, for membership of the Court of Auditors. For an auditor, what I would be seeking, I suppose, is lifelong experience of auditing within the private sector, and that that was the main focus of your uh, career so far. Um, and at the very least, not whilst actively involved in politics. What I see, really, is a, a highly political CV, and what I'm personally seeking uh, from an auditor is an apolitical CV. Uh, it's not a new question, I suppose. This is a question that's been around throughout the ages. I mean, you can go back to ancient Rome and uh, the poet Juvenal, quis custodiet, quis custodiet ipsos custodes, who will guard the guards themselves? It's, some of the, it's an age-old question. Um, and I certainly do welcome uh, your grandmother's advice about honesty. I welcome your comments about independence and about objectivity, but I do worry that appointing yet another politician to the Court of Auditors would perhaps send out completely the wrong message. Even if you are able to be totally objective, even if you are able to put all your politics totally aside, to resign membership of a political party, to be completely impartial, does that really provide sufficient public confidence in that same impartiality, because, you know, I, I come at this from, uh, uh, from an anti-EU perspective. I come at this from a, a very Eurosceptic point of view. Uh, and the Court of Auditors is, the, what is one of the few areas where I don't automatically vote, uh, vote against uh, appointments, because I see that the work that the Court of Auditors has previously done in holding the European Union to account is good work, and it's perhaps one of the few areas uh, where there can be uh, points where, where I will agree with you are a federalist on something, that we need to make sure that, uh, that everything is held to account. But to be quite honest, if I were being purely Machiavellian about this, uh, then I'd actually almost hope that you get this role because you'd provide more ammunition to people like me who are anti-European Union. Mr. Takula, please. Thank you. That was a good question indeed. Yes. One of the key roles in auditing has always been to provide a good basis for decision making for British decision makers and I know that in the UK this is an issue that's been discussed for a long time the uh, basis upon the knowledge basis that could be fed into British politics and uh, certainly in Brexit the issue is of whether money had been spent correctly was an important consideration now in a na national court of auditors situation the information needs to be correct and uh, that's equally true for the European Court of Auditors because mm. you're making these decisions about the future of Europe. These are very considerable sums of money but that's quite irrespective of whichever political stance you may have. It's the independence and the objectivity and the uh, legality aspects are at the center of the thing and it's important that the information is both timely and accurate. Many who have preceded me in the Court of Auditors have had experience through the work that they've done and my government believes that my experience is sufficient and in addition to that you learn on the job. Now I had uh, a responsibility within the Finnish Parliament as an auditor and also auditor of the National Assurance System and it is important I know that the information be pertinent and timely, up to date. And I also believe in lifelong learning, as I said in my text. 
I have many years of experience in the European Parliament and I've learnt a lot in the course of my work here and if I were to become a member of the European Court of Auditors then I'm absolutely sure I will be learning and will have to be learning more. But that's the starting point for taking over such a position and then to be able to carry it out successfully. That's what I have to say, but I think the honesty and integrity aspect is absolutely key. And I have a number of people that I look to in that regard.